Hey, hey, guys, I get this question all the time. What is the quickest way to become a professional developer? People know my channel, they know the answer, but you may not know the answer because unfortunately you haven't been watching the videos. So number one, learn your foundations well, the foundations of the languages. So let's talk about the web stack. That's HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, understand the client-server model, understanding the relationship between client computers, server computers, client apps, server apps, any good course, plug below, we'll teach you all that. Once you have those fundamentals of the languages, of the programming languages, of the coding languages, and of the infrastructure around the languages, then your career will take off. So how do you acquire this knowledge quickly? In my opinion, it comes down to a mixture of video and writing code, video and writing code, and frequency of exposure. So what does that mean? So video and writing code. Video-based learning for coding is quick and easy because you can see things. You can walk through problems. Now, if you have a well-structured video course, uh, the videos ultimately should be shorter videos, not long videos. If you see videos are 25, 30 minutes long in terms of detailed code training, you can learn with those, but it's a little bit more uh, bookkeeping on your part too. So you got to pause at times. You got to trying to find your spot and uh, trying to remember where they what they did on you know 16 minutes in or not. You know, it can be problematic. So smaller videos, six, seven minutes, five minutes a piece, easier to manage. Also, you should be writing code consistently or interacting with the concepts consistently. What do I mean by interacting with the concepts? Well, in my software, what I do is after every single lesson, uh, you have quiz questions, sometimes multiple choice, where you're uh, quizzed on the important concepts that you were taught in that video, so it helps you to retain the information more quickly and easily. It's very effective. And uh, also code challenges, where I show you a snippet of code, and then you write out the code right away and you get the feedback right away. Very important. That back and forth between being introduced to a technique or a theory and then doing something with that technique or testing and revisiting that theory that you just learned helps really in a big way to move forward. What I found uh, over the years when I was learning new tech and also when I was teaching people, people get tripped up as when they try to advance to, you know, they, they do steps A, B, C, D, and then they try to do uh, uh, step E, A, B, C, D, E, yeah, E, <laughs> and, but they didn't quite get things properly in step D, right? They didn't get quite, they didn't quite get that. So when they get to the next step, which assumes that you understand the previous four steps, it's like, ah, uh, it's difficult, right? You, you start running into problems, this, and this compounds, this gap of knowledge. You know, you, 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 didn't get, you didn't get a little bit here. You didn't, you didn't quite understand return types and functions. So then when you jumped into anonymous inner functions in, in JavaScript, you're like, ah, I didn't quite get return types, so this is even more difficult. And you keep trying, but you, in, in a typical video course, you don't get that feedback right away. And then people get frustrated, and they don't learn, and it becomes very difficult. So you want to be sure that uh, as you're stepping through each, each uh, lesson and you're learning different concepts and techniques, that you're, this, the key points of the lesson is reinforced along the way. And that means writing code. That's why I tell people uh, the frequency of exposure is much more than the, ultimately the amount of time that you spend on it. So what do I mean by that? It's better that you spend half an hour a day four or five days a week than to do one chunk of five hours because the brain will figure out what will, will, will figure out that what you are trying to learn is important because it sees it all the time. It's like if you see somebody every day at school or at work or on the way to work, you see their face every day, you're going to remember them much more likely because your, your brain will say, hey, I've seen that face, I've seen that face, I've seen that face. And they'll become familiar, you'll remember them much more easily, even if it's only for like a minute you see them. Same thing with learning anything new. The frequency, the number of times that you're exposed to something, the more likely you're going to remember it. So that's why I suggest in my courses, it's 
literally the whole system is designed, the studio web system is designed around that premise, amongst other things, is that you, uh, you come in, you do your short shots. So even if you're on a, it's a busy day, you're tired, you don't feel like learning that day, just do one video for six minutes and answer the quiz questions. Every single lesson should have quiz questions. And it makes a huge difference in terms of the effectiveness and in terms of the retention of the material. Yes, it's a bit of a commercial, but I'm giving you the theory behind how to learn quickly based on my experience as teaching and my study of psychology and so forth. And, you know, it happens to be, you know, no kidding, it happens to be integrated into my system, right? Anyhow, so there you go. So the quickest way to become a professional, I just outlined it, found foundations, uh, frequency of exposure, daily doses, right code, often little snippets of code. It's good if you can get instant feedback so you know whether you're, you're doing well or not. And, uh, and then and this build, start building little mini projects quickly. Start building little mini projects quickly. And once you get comfortable building little mini projects, then actually you got to take that leap. You got to take that leap and you got to actually try to build something real. Don't try to build Facebook your first time around, but try to build something that actually does something for somebody, whether for yourself or for somebody else. And it could be build a shopping cart. Make sure it works and it integrates with PayPal. Build a shopping cart if it works with Stripe or build a basic CRUD system, for example. Build a basic uh, login system that ha does CRUD operations. CRUD is basic database operations. And then, uh, and we do cover all that, but then what you do is you go and you, you, you find some client or some individual or it might be your own project and just build it. And it's normal, especially in the first few years as a professional developer, you're constantly learning. You're constantly learning. Now, as you get, you know, five years into it, 10 years into it, 15 years into it, your the need for you to learn something new, the amount of things will diminish because, you you're, you know, after 10 years, you know a hell of a lot more than you knew when you were only doing it for two years, right? So there's less to learn. But one thing you have to expect as a professional developer, you are constantly learning new things. You're constantly learning new things. It's just normal. It's just par for the course. But again, if you have... If you're well-versed and well-trained in the fundamentals, learning new technologies, new languages, new frameworks, new libraries, it's no big deal. It's no big deal. All right. I hope that helps. Bye-bye.